In these type of cases, you do have to feel sorry for the victims. Two deranged men form a friendship based on their mutual love of robbing victims after arriving in the UK. After all, the UK is considered easy in the global stage. 31-year-old Bogdan Sersor and 35-year-old Vasil Tooth, whom both lived in North London, had ventured round different parts of the country, targeting women who were considered to work in vulnerable occupations. These two men were evil and opportunists, and knew exactly the type of people they wanted to go after. Now both men lived on Lockway Close, Edgware, and sought women who were working as masseurs, or offering their bodies for cash, across Leicester, Reading and Hove, and Brighton. Now during the two month crime spree, the duo made appointments. That was by email, Snapchat, Instagram, and even over the phone. And then they attended the appointments, under the guise of being paying customers. Sadly, these victims, that's plural, victims, were unaware of what was about to happen. Now when Vassil and Bogdan turned up at the given addresses, they were armed with blades and also tape. The women were bound and then threatened. Their money, their jewellery, their phones, their iPads, even their reading glasses were stolen. Now during the spat of robberies, the court heard one of the victims was brave enough to actually go to the police. This was because she actually tried to fend herself against Bogdan and Vassil, but she was injured for her efforts, and even her passport was stolen. Now one of the victims from Leicester, as I said, went to the police and an investigation began. Bogdan and Vassil were quickly named as suspects, because they were not smart enough to conceal their faces, and therefore they were picked up on CCTV. Now, in June, the duo were arrested, phones were confiscated and then analysed, and police were able to put both men at the scenes of the multiple crimes. The kicker is, both Bogdan Sersor and Vassil Tooth are not British nationals, and yet the victims, the men targeted, were either vulnerable or were trafficked to Britain themselves. That's essentially robbing people that were in the same position as you, that came to the UK for a better life. Now the two men were sentenced to a combined 27 years in jail, in which, after their sentence is complete, they will probably be deported back to their home country.